back to the set list. Today I have a bit of a beauty haul for you. Um, last week it was my 20th birthday so I received a few things from my family and I also went to Priceline recently and picked up a few things. Okay so the first one is a MAC eyeshadow that I got from my sister. Um, she gave it to me to fill my quad because I had one space missing so yes. Um, it's this one right here. It's MAC All That Glitters and I love it. I've basically been wearing it on my eyes ever since I got it and it's just really easy because you can just put it all over your lids you don't really need to add anything else. Looks great with some like uh, liquid liner and you're good to go for the day so I do really really like this. Great pigmentation and everything so it's one of my favorites. Next up as you will soon see it has definitely been used is a MAC 217 brush. Now I think I wanted this for the longest time. It's definitely a cult classic and I've always wanted to give it a go but it does have a pretty pricey price tag here in Australia. Um, so it was really really nice to receive it for my birthday. Um, it's just kind of like a blending brush for your eyes but it's a really great shape because you can use it to pack on the eyeshadow as well as blend out through the crease and yeah things like that it's just a really good all-rounder brush um so next from mac is a lipstick it's actually the one i'm wearing today and it's basically been on my lips ever since i got it it's mac syrup it's this one here it's basically an everyday pinky slightly purpley toned um lipstick it's not really opaque but it does does have quite a lot of um pigmentation to it so it it's sort of in between a balm and a lipstick i would say it's from the Lustre range at MAC. I think it, it pairs nicely with my skin tone. It makes your teeth look whiter. It's just an all round great lipstick. I also received another MAC lipstick. Um, this is MAC Captive. It's pretty similar to Syrup, but it is a lot more opaque. It's a lot more long wearing and it's just a bit of a bolder color. And I really like it. I don't own anything else like this. So I think it'll come in Quite handy even though it is quite like a dark berry shade I think it'll still be fine for summer. Okay I've got one more thing that's a high-end product it is this Hourglass um, ambient lighting powder in dim light. It is a mini and Mecca in Australia have started doing minis of these and it's so great it's really travel friendly it can fit in your purse really easily it's just such a great size. So the first thing is this Covergirl Mascara. It is the Super Sizer Mascara in Berry Black. Now this one has quite an interesting brush and I thought it was just it was very different to anything I'd tried so I really wanted to give it a go. Um, it's new here in Australia. I saw it in like the new section of the Covergirl stand. So yeah, I thought I'd just give this one a try and I'll keep you guys posted on whether or not I like it. Um, next one is the Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder. And I got this one in the shade 52 Vanilla. I've wanted to try this for the longest time. And a lot of people say that it sets your foundation really well, but without making you look flat and like too matte. So that's why I've always wanted to try it. And so far, so good. It's really good for setting my under eye concealer. And it's really fine, which so you can't really like see the powder on your skin, which is what I really have been enjoying. So the last product I picked up is this L'Oreal Lip Gloss. This is a new product that's just arrived in Australia and I'm so excited because I've been wanting to try this for a good while. It has, or is very similar to the YSL lip glosses as it has the wave applicator. So it's really easy to apply the product. This one here is in the shade 109 Fight For It. It's just a really pretty pinky nude natural color that's easy, goes with anything, and just looks really great on the lips. So that's it for my haul today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please, please subscribe if you're new. I would love it. Anyway, I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye.